my friends and welcome back to another video. So I ordered from the first five ads that I saw on TikTok. Now I've done these kind of videos before where I buy from ads, but it's always been from like Facebook and Instagram and TikTok ads, TikTok ads are weirder, at least, at least for me and what the algorithm shows me, definitely more random. Like they're kind of all over the place. We have a little bit of everything as you'll see in this video. Like I'll get an ad for a cute sweatshirt. And then the next ad is for your very own pet ball of moss complete with birth certificate. I mean, both are right up my alley. Honestly, maybe TikTok just knows me a little too well, but uh, let's get into it. So the first ad that I saw, and I've actually seen these on TikTok quite a few times before this video, is for jackpot candles, and they sell candles that have a ring hidden inside the wax somewhere that's supposedly worth between $15 and $5,000. And I feel like this is a fun idea, you know, get a candle and also get like a fun little jewelry surprise in it. But one Thing, one thing that just stood out to me in this ad as like a little weird is the guy in the ad was really pushing the make money by getting an expensive ring aspect. My fiance and I love TikTok. And so for my 26th birthday, he got me a mermaid daydream jackpot candle. Mermaids are her favorite. And I thought it'd be cool to try and see if we could win a lot of money. Absolutely beautiful. We absolutely love this ring. But more importantly, it was worth $20 and we're selling it. That seems a little weird to me. Like don't, don't try to trick people into thinking buying this candle is some sort of investment. You're probably not gonna win a bunch of money and you should not buy this candle with that idea. But it's a fun and unique idea on its own. Like I'm already interested anyways. And also in the ad, the guy says they're going to sell the ring because it's worth $20, but like, to who? Does the website have a buyback option? Are they gonna try and sell it on like Facebook Marketplace or eBay? Because I'm pretty sure no one's gonna pay you $20 for that ring. <laughs> Anyways, I clicked the link and the website had a bunch of different scents to choose from. And you also got to select your ring size, which I really appreciated. It also noted that the candles are made in the USA from natural soy wax and have between 80 and 100 hours of burn time. And pretty much all the candles were listed for $24.95 which just for comparison, most Bath and Body Works three wick candles are listed on the website at $24.50. And at least on the bottom of the Bath and Body Works candles that I have, cause they don't list this on the website, it says it has a burn time of 25 to 45 hours. So this candle seems like a pretty good deal to me. So I got the eucalyptus one. Let's unbox it, give it a try and see if we're gonna win $15,000. I haven't filmed that part yet, but spoiler alert, I, I don't I don't think we're gonna win $15,000. Okay, so it's the Eucalyptus Scent Renew, Refresh, Relax, Hand Poured 100% Soy Candle. That just smells like straight up eucalyptus. It's not the best candle I've smelled by any means. It's not like out of this world, but it's not bad by any means. So this candle is obviously a different shape than the one in the TikTok ad. It's like much more vertical. <laughs> it's a cylinder. So hopefully the ring isn't like hidden at the very bottom. So I'm gonna start burning this tonight and I'm actually gonna time it every time I burn this candle. That way we can see what the burn time really adds up to be. And I'm also excited to see what ring is inside. Let's burn it. Okay, ignore my freaking Olympic ring of zit stickers and my skincare headband, but I'm pretty sure I see the little thing with the ring in it. I've burned the candle four times for a total of about 14 hours and 20 minutes. And I'm just starting to see a little, what I'm assuming is that wrapped foil ring. It looks like it did in the, the TikTok ad, but I have to say, I think the 80 to 100 hours of burn time is pretty accurate. I mean, I've had this going for 14 plus hours and we have really not burned that much. I'm pretty impressed. I really like the smell of this candle. I'll definitely, you know, continue to burn it after I take out the ring. I will say this candle isn't super, like it's not super strong smelling. I feel like usually with my other candles, if I light the candle, it makes the whole room smell good. This, you kind of have to be pretty close to it. But when you are close, like sitting right here, it smells great. It's just not as, Potent, I guess is the word. <laughs> but here we go. I got tweezers like they did in the ad. Oh, yep. I think that's definitely it. Oh gosh, I ripped open the foil. <laughs> oh no. Man, this is kind of hard to get out. Jeez. We got it, friends. We, 
We got it? Oh no, we got half of it. Oh gosh, this is worst case scenario. Oh, I did this like the worst friggin' way possible. All right, here is our ring and also our redemption code. This is actually really pretty. I, this looks really nice. Other than the, the being covered in wax part, I feel like this is, Beautiful. Even the size nine is not gonna work on my ring finger right now. My fingers are super swollen in pregnancy. I feel like this was prettier than the one they showed in the ad at least. All right, now let's enter this redemption code and see what it's worth. Oh, congratulations, your jewelry value is $35. It was a little messier to get out than I had anticipated, but that also might be because I took it out a little bit before it was ready. If I had let the wax melt down until a good amount of it was exposed, I probably wouldn't have wax all over my fingers. <laughs> Jackpot candles. I I think this is fun. I feel like this would be a really good gift idea. Candles are already a popular gift and I feel like the little ring aspect and the surprise element of what's it gonna look like, how much is it gonna be worth. I feel like that's fun and it's not outrageously priced, especially with that burn time. I'm pretty impressed. So I'm gonna go ahead and so usually with videos, I rate things from zero to 10, but I feel like with, with this and with trying ads, I can't really rate it from zero to 10 because it's just, it's so subjective and it's hard to be that specific with a number. So I think instead what I'm gonna do is we'll do either thumbs up or thumbs down. Do I like it or do I not like it? And if I really like something, I'll give it two thumbs up. And if I really hate something, I'll give it two thumbs down. Single thumb up, jackpot candles, Probably I'm not gonna be like a regular purchaser, but I could totally see myself get one of these as a gift for someone else or if I just want like a fun ring and a candle. Overall, not a bad experience. The next ad that I got was for a company called Roll Angel and it featured a bunch, a bunch of different sweatshirts and hoodies. They looked pretty cute in the ad. It definitely caught my eye, especially this like gray, blue and white Los Angeles one. And I feel like I, I have been wearing all of the comfy sweatshirts that I own a lot lately. I think it's the combination of winter time, pregnancy and quarantine, but I am all about comfy sweatshirts right now. So this, this is right up my alley. So I clicked the link and they had all the different sweatshirts from the ad listed and more. I went to that Los Angeles crew neck first and it said it was originally $50, but on sale for $28.90. And it came in sizes small to 3XL. I'm always worried when I click on a random ad like this, that the size range isn't gonna be very extensive and they won't have my size. So I was pleasantly surprised. So I got this crew neck in a 2XL and then I was scrolling through the rest and I saw this like faded orangey pink one that it's also a crew neck. I love crew necks. And it was embroidered, which I like. But what really caught my eye was it says St. Moritz, Switzerland, which to clarify, I have never been to St. Moritz, Switzerland. So really, I don't have any business wearing this sweatshirt, but Moritz is the name of a character from the 2006 smash hit musical Spring Awakening. And I love Spring Awakening. So I got this one in a 2XL as well. And it was $25.99. Here is our package. Let's open it up. Okay, so here's the Los Angeles one. It's fleece lined and like fuzzy on the inside. It doesn't feel particularly cheap or anything on the first touch, I guess. Is this the same color as the ad? Am I misremembering or was it not this dark blue? Okay, yeah, the ad definitely made this blue look like a, a much like more light faded tone. I'm assuming that's just because it's a filter because other than that, it does look like the photo, but let's go try it on. Okay, so here is our first crew neck. The quality of this sweatshirt, I would say is pretty average. Not bad, not crazy good. Honestly, right what I expect for under $30. The inside is nice and fuzzy, so it's soft. It feels good on my skin. There's no like loose threads or bad stitching anywhere. It looks good. The fit is a little bit on the smaller side for what I'd expect for a 2XL, but it does fit fine. So I would say it runs maybe half a size small, but also it might just be that like my perspective of of sizing is off right now for me because I am 22 weeks pregnant. But it's not just fitting tight here. For a 2XL, I would expect a little bit looser in the arms, in the chest. I don't know, I just thought that would be good to note. But other than that, I'm happy with this. I'm a little disappointed by the uh, discrepancy in the color. I feel like that faded, more like vintagey blue wash is more me than navy blue, but I do still like the color blocking. I think this is cute. I'll wear it, I'll give it, uh, I'll give it one 
thumb up. Not quite two, it's not amazing. All right, this one also doesn't look super true to color. The photo was like a very faded, kind of like peachy pink. This is kind of like an orangey red. Hopefully the color reads on camera, but it is very bright. It also isn't like a sweatshirt. It's not a crew neck. It's it's a very thin long sleeve. The first one, it was a sweatshirt. It was like thicker. This is, this is just a, a long sleeve top. Oh, roll angel. There's also a bunch of loose threads in the embroidery. <laughs> yeah, not looking good from the first impression, but let's try it on. I am fully convinced this is a completely different product than what was in the photo. It's the color, it's the fit, it's the way that the arms bunched up in that photo. This is, this is a different blank for sure. It does have the same embroidery, but like I said, lots of uh, loose threads here. And like the other one, I would say it runs a little bit tight from what I'd expect for a 2XL. I think this is fine for a long sleeve shirt, but I did not think I was getting a long sleeve shirt when I ordered this. The quality of the actual item, the blank and like the stitching is definitely lower than the first sweatshirt. And honestly, this color is just not my favorite. So I don't feel like I would wear this a lot, which is a bummer because Moritz and Spring Away and it looked really comfy in the photo. So this one, this one gets a thumbs down from me. Not stoked on this one, roll angel. All right, so this next ad, this was for the pet moss ball. And I just wanna play a couple clips of the ad so that you guys can kind of get a better idea of what this is. I just got my moss ball pet and I'm so excited. I ordered the glass cylinder terrarium kit with a junior moss ball pet. This kit comes with one glass cylinder, a bag of decorative filling, I chose the beach mix, a decorative twig, a junior moss ball, an adoption certificate, and a VIP lifetime membership. Moss balls are living plants and require water and minimal light. You can add these to a fish tank with some fish as well. But see, now hear me out. Yes, it's a little silly. It's a pet ball of moss, but I'm totally here for it. I feel like when a lot of people go to college or move into their first apartment, they wanna get like a pet fish or something. But in reality, they don't necessarily have like the time or desire to care for a living creature. So instead, here's an alternative, get a pet ball of moss. It's cute, it's fun, it's a living plant. Thing. Or like if you're a teacher, you would get one of these as like a class pet. I, I love it. So on the website, they explain more about what a pet moss ball is and how to care for it. They had a couple different options for terrarium kits, but the one from the ad was the glass cylinder terrarium. It's $36 and comes with the moss ball, a glass jar, decorative filler and twigs, and the adoption certificate, as well as a VIP lifetime membership. Not, not exactly sure what that gets me, but okay. <laughs> there were three options for the filler material. I went with the Sierra Tahoe stone because, but I mean, Sierra. <laughs> now let's go meet our new member of the family. I'm probably the most excited about this one of everything from this video. Here's my actual pet ball of moss, like vacuum sealed in a little container. We have the glass cylinder with a very sad looking twig. Here's our gravel for the container. And this must be the birth certificate. Wait, now I have to figure out what I wanna name my pet moss ball. This is to certify that your name here is the proud caregiver and lifelong friend of moss ball pet's name, whom is a living form of green algae, commonly known as Marimo. Marimo can live for up to 200 years, so be prepared for a long life full of luck and happiness. I didn't know I was signing up for 200 years of care. Wait. This is a lot of pressure. Okay, so many things to do. I'm, I'm gonna go to the website, see if they have any guidelines on how to set this up. Like, do I need a certain type of water? And then also, I need to come up with a name and decide what room I'm gonna keep my pet moss ball in. So I asked you guys on Instagram to help me come up with a name for our pet moss ball. The suggestions were fantastic, but my two favorite were Mr. Mosby, like Mr. Mosby from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, or Bob Moss, as in Bob Ross. <laughs> so I did a poll with those two and y'all chose Bob Moss. So I guess Bob Moss will be chilling up here with me in my office for the next 200 years <laughs> or so. So this is my computer here and it's just right over there in the corner watching
watching over me for as long as we both shall live. <laughs> Honestly, I love this. I love that I got this ad. I love that I bought the pet ball of moss. <laughs> Little overwhelmed that it's gonna live for 200 years, but you know what? We'll figure it out. I feel like if you're a plant person or you're just a little weird like me and you like this kind of stuff, this is fun. I mean, all it said I really need to do for upkeep is change the water every week or two. And if little Bob Moss starts looking sick, like turning a brown color, just give him a little rinse and a little squeeze in some water. All it needs, it said it was tap water. I think this is fun. I give this two thumbs up, big fan. Guess what I got? What? We have a new pet. <laughs> Turn around. Ooh. Here you go. You're you're a daddy now. What is this? Wait, look. Is this actually considered a pet? <laughs> His name is Bob Moss. <laughs> He's gonna live for two hundred years, so get ready for your parental responsibilities. Is it just a ball of moss? Yeah. This is strange. <laughs> Do you um, like it? I mean, it's kind of it's kind of dope to have a moss ball but I don't know what I think about this. <laughs> <laughs> so this next ad interested me and then confused me and then just confused me more and more and more. So it's for those Feel Robin Konkin backpacks that were really trendy starting a couple years ago, like the Visco Girl aesthetic. It says 50% off flash sale. And then the name of the account that's actually running the ad says Feel Robin Konkin backpacks. So it seems legit, right? Also, I, I sincerely hope that I am somewhat close to saying that name right, otherwise, this is gonna be a painfully long segment for any of you guys who do actually know how to pronounce Feel Robin Konkin. I Googled it before filming and that's how Google Translate told me to say it. So hopefully it didn't misguide me. So I clicked the link and it seems like a normal website. It's got the logo at the top and the backpacks are listed at pretty huge markdowns. Like this blue mini one that I was interested in, originally $109, now $27. And that just set off a couple alarm bells for me because I mean, first of all, I really don't know anything about Feel Robin Konkin backpacks, but I feel like I still see people talking about them a lot and wearing them a lot. So it doesn't seem like the, the popularity has gone super far down. So then why would they be marked down at like this steep of a discount? I, I needed to do some digging. I searched for the brand on Google and found the actual Feel Robin Konkin backpack website. And it's a totally different website than the one that the ad took me to. And there's also no 50% off flash sale going on. So two options here. Number one, it's fake. The website is fake. The backpack is either a knockoff or they're just gonna take my money and not send me a backpack at all. Or number two, it is a real Feel Robin Konkin backpack, but it's being sold by like a distributor, a supply store. So it's not coming directly from the brand. So I went ahead and placed the order anyways. It was $39.99 total. Shipping was $12, so pretty expensive. And I have to show you guys this. This was the confirmation email I got. It says, thank you for ordering from Backpack as Beauty Store. So definitely not feel Robin Conkin, but we already knew that. And then it says the merchant descriptor on my big statement would be this. And it's just a super long, like super long series of letters and numbers. So that means on my bank statement where it would usually say, you know, Target, Etsy, whatever, it's gonna just be this long series of letters and numbers. <laughs> I don't know, it's, this, this email seemed a little sketchy to me. At this point, I was like, well, maybe 50-50 shot that I actually get a backpack. I did use PayPal for my checkout so they don't actually have my credit card information, which I always like to do whenever I'm ordering from a website that I'm not familiar with, but, Lo and behold, three weeks later, this package shows up at my door. Okay, wait, this looks real. Hold on. If this is a fake, this seems like a really good fake. It has the tag on it, which looks like a very normal Feel Robin Konkin tag. It seems, th I think this is legit. This looks totally legit to me. Now I am not a Feel Robin Konkin expert, but I'm thinking this was just some sort of supply store that maybe bought like an oversupply of these backpacks or maybe even has some sort of deal with the Feel Robin Konkin manufacturer. But I totally just got an expensive ass backpack for like 30 bucks. Oh, this looks great. The, oh, the inside looks fantastic. It even has the spot where you like write your name and information on the inside. And it has a legit tag and serial number. This is a real backpack. <laughs> well, I mean, we know it was a real backpack. I mean, look, it's got straps, but this, I, I don't think this is a knockoff 
Phil Robin Conkin. And I'm excited because this is like a perfect size little backpack for like hiking or eventually someday when Disneyland opens up, I could see myself wearing this to Disney. I'm stoked. Thank you, TikTok. Now see, if I wasn't buying this for a video, once I realized that the website was not the real Feel Robin Conkin website, I would not have gone through with the purchase. And like, yeah, I had a good chance of getting scammed, but I didn't. And that's great. <laughs> Two thumbs up for this. I have to swap them. Two thumbs up. I. I'm stoked, this is awesome. <laughs> Our last ad, number five, is actually the only ad in this video that I would say comes from like a big brand or at least a company that I was familiar with before this video. And it was for the REM Ariana Grande perfume at Ulta. So the ad was, it was a little cheesy, but it was really cute. So we've got this guy, he's like going through what his dream life would be like. Cause you know, like dream, REM. <laughs> Traveling the world, finding love, being my authentic self and sharing it with the world. It's cute, it's a cute ad. And I don't know who this guy is, but I'm assuming he's a TikToker. And if so, I feel like that's cool that Ulta is partnering with TikTok creators to advertise this Ariana Grande perfume. Good for him, get your coin, leave your Ariana Grande dream life. Anyways, I clicked the link and it took me to Ulta and the perfume comes in three sizes. I got the smallest size, one ounce, and it was $44, which seems really expensive to me for an ounce of perfume. But hey, I guess I guess people love Ariana Grande, so they'll pay for it, good for her. So let's go ahead and try this perfume. I tend to be pretty picky when it comes to perfumes. I have this Tory Burch one that I love, and then I also have a Louis Vuitton one that I wear on like special occasions. And other than that, I really don't like experimenting with perfumes. Here is the perfume. I like the little cap, how it's like a diamond looking thing, and then it just says Ariana Grande. So let's... Spray. Oh, I really like this. It's definitely like a sweet scent, but it's not like pink sugar overwhelmingly sweet. It's like a, it's like a more, a more mature sweet, but not flowery. What? Do they like describe the notes anywhere? Oh, cute! It comes with a little stand too. I didn't even see that. Oh, this is cute. Okay, this looks less Ariana Grande to me and more like Superman's hideout. Like, isn't it like all crystally? <laughs> I didn't expect that I would be getting a perfume that I would actually want to wear and add into my rotation. But uh, yeah, I think this is gonna sit out on, on my little vanity. I'm shook. Two thumbs up for this perfume. I, I really like this. The bottle's cute. The price seems a little ridiculous to me. $44 for an ounce. But perfume lasts forever and I, I, I'm i happy. This is <laughs> not what I expected. I didn't expect it to be this good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you would wanna see a part two to this video. I am so down to do it again because I feel like, like I said, my TikTok ads are, are unique. They're weird, they're different. And I've been paying more attention to my TikTok ads just since filming this video. And there, oh, there are some that I just really want the chance and the excuse to buy. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I will see you next time. Bye.